The Duchess of Cambridge took a break from her busy diary of royal engagements earlier this summer to pay a special visit to her children's school to attend a workshop on mental well-being. Kate Middleton, 37, attended the three-hour-long workshop alongside other parents at St. Thomas Battersea in May. The session was run by mental health campaigner Virgo Hope, 28, and covered a range of topics including how pupils can emotionally support one another as well as body image issues. Virgo revealed the down-to-earth Duchess made an effort to come up and speak to her personally after the session, telling People magazine, she was very chatty and friendly. Kate attended the workshop in May ahead of her daughter Princess Charlotte, 4, starting school alongside her eldest son Prince George, 6. She was among the other parents attending the meeting, which involved a 75-minute chat with Year 7 and Year 8 students, who are between 11 to 13 years old. Later there was a Q&A with pupils, followed by a 90-minute discussion with parents. Virgo revealed that Kate took a special interest in the workshop, saying, Kate came up and personally spoke to me afterwards, which was nice. Calling the Duchess friendly and very chatty, Virgo said, we spoke about the work that I do in schools, particularly for younger people, and we spoke about the importance of early intervention and prevention. The activists said the workshop had been very positive, adding that parents just wanted to ensure they were supporting their children in the right way. Last week that Kate and Prince William dropped Prince George and Princess Charlotte off at school for the start of the new term. The news emerges days after Kate spoke about the importance of mental health at official opening of her Back to Nature garden at RHS Wisley on Tuesday. The royal was the picture of polished perfection in a designer dress and high street accessories for the outing. Mother of three Kate was typically gracious as she spoke to guests at the event, and seemed particularly taken by some of the children brought along. At the event, she revealed the health benefits playing outdoors can bring to children, saying, I am not as green-fingered as many of you here, but I was passionate about creating a garden that inspired children and adults alike to get back to nature and reap the positive mental and physical health benefits that it can bring. Speaking to families and school children, Kate also paid tribute to the crucial role grandparents and teachers play in raising children. She said, like in the animal kingdom, whether a pod, a pack, or a pride, the interactions we have with the broader community, be it with our grandparent, teachers, or neighbors, play a crucial role in the growth and learning of our young. The sentiment was no doubt inspired by her own experience, with her three children, Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1, enjoying close relationships with her parents Michael and Carol Middleton, as well as Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge has paid a special visit to the school attended by her children Prince George and Princess Charlotte for a workshop focusing on children's mental well-being. Kate, who is the subject of intense speculation regarding her possible pregnancy, broke off from her busy schedule for the three-hour workshop earlier this summer, before Charlotte began at St. Thomas Battersea, the exclusive school where the four-year-old royal and brother George, six, are both enrolled. During her visit, Kate, 37, paid a special tribute to the role teachers and grandparents play in a child's development, a possible nod to father-in-law Prince Charles, among others. During her visit Kate met with other parents and also enjoyed a 75-minute chat with pupils from years 7 and 8, aged between 11 and 13. Afterwards there was a question and answer session with pupils, plus a 90-minute discussion with parents. Kate came up and personally spoke to me afterwards, which was nice. We spoke about the work that I do in schools, particularly for younger people, and we spoke about the importance of early intervention and prevention. The event came days after Kate herself delivered a speech about the importance of mental health when attending the official opening of the Back to Nature Garden in RHS Garden Wisley, in Woking, Surrey. Talking up the benefits of encouraging children to explore the great outdoors, she said, I am not as green-fingered as many of you here, but I was passionate about creating a garden that inspired children and adults alike to get back to nature and reap the positive mental and physical health benefits that it can bring. Like in the animal kingdom, 
whether a pod, a pack, or a pride, the interactions we have with the broader community, be it with our grandparent, teachers, or neighbors a play a crucial role in the growth and learning of our young. Princess Charlotte arrived for her first day at school on September 5th, dropped off by Kate and Prince William, who said she was very excited. The school has roughly 560 pupils aged 4 to 13. Fees are £6,429 per term for a family's eldest child and £6,305 for their second eldest child throughout reception, year 1 and year 2. Meanwhile, royal expert Aranzazu Santos Lopez has suggested George, Charlotte, and younger brother Prince Louis may soon be welcoming another sibling. She told Spanish television program Aquije Madrono, I have two clues that make me think Kate is pregnant. We would love to see that confirmed. What are those clues? Look at these recent images of the return to school day. Look at Kate's hair. It has a different air. Highlights or new color, we don't know yet, but it's lighter, like a dark blonde. Every time the Duchess of Cambridge changes her look, she announces that she is pregnant within a few days. The royal commentator continued, and I have another clue. Kate's agenda is locked. She will take time off, which could mean she is pregnant, considering that her previous pregnancies have been complicated.